Allison Cemetery, 2005. 2005, this angel here was placed here, donated by Oprah Allen, Daryl Slinkard, with the help of Jimmy Slinkard, Leonard Allison, Joey Caulfield, Joey Caulfield and myself. And today I'm just going to go through and record some of the old stones. This is the first one left of the angel. Second one left of the angel. Third one left of the angel. This is the baby's grave. It is the fourth one from the angel. It's number five from the angel, which is the infant son of Andrew and Ruby Prescott. Prescott. This is the monument of Ruby Prescott. She is number seven from the angel. Number eight from the angel is Daniel Allison, a brother to my father, Miles Allison. He was born March the 16th, 1905, and was deceased on November the 5th of 1929. Number nine, next to Daniel Allison, is Baby Reed, which belonged to Ida and Robert Reed. Number ten, which comes just at the feet to the left of Baby Reed, it also has to be an infant. Top side, past Baby Reed, first one on the left, second one on the left. From at the very top. Number four, from the very top. There is a front rock at the top, at the head, and a large one at the bottom. We have no signs in this area down to which is all empty, but we know that there are people buried here. At the far end of the cemetery line, you will find this monument here represents a soldier from the second, first cavalry out of Michigan. How, where he, be, Prescott is his name? Uh, Andrew? No, it's not Andrew Prescott. I have his name at home. I will find it. But he it had to be belong to the first cavalry out of Michigan. How he got here, we do not know, but assuming he might have been in here with a family member. This is the second row, down, left of the angel, which is Hugh P. and Sarah Allison. This would be my great-grandma and grandpa. This rock here represents probably one of their children that might have died at birth. Susan Allison died May, March of 1889. This is a set of twins that belong to Hugh P. and Sarah Allison, which would be my aunts and uncles. This is the other twin that is spread from the other side of Susan. His name was Winston, and he was the son of George B. and Lottie M. Allison, which is George Bowen and Lottie Mary Allison. I've made a fifth in 1898. This is Grace Allison. She was born December the 2nd, December the 23rd, 1889, and she died December 01 of 1889. No, December the 10th of 1889. I'll go down past the angel going off to my right and turn backwards to the angel now. This marker was put here by John. This is the second marker put here by John. This is the third marker put here by John. And we are now down on the third row down. We are now toward the end of the third row, which is Dr. John L. Allison. 
born 1830, deceased in 1900. He was a Civil War veteran. Allison Nancy E., born the 4th, 25th, 1854. She died the 4th and the 1st in 1904, which is probably the wife of Dr. John L. Allison, Opal Alice, born the 11th, 12th, 1882. She deceased on the first month of 1879. 10th month, first day of 1878. I'm sorry. Thank you. This is an article of William Samuel Allison. He was born in June of 1857. He deceased on September the 27th, 1890, 1896, at the 38 years old. Three months and two days. This is Allison Ruth. 1892. Read this is 1894. Allison Nathan, 9th, 11th, 1893. Died the 9th, 27th, 1898. Allison ESPESRIA, born the 1st, 5th, 1875. Deceased on the 11th, 21st, 1885. Allison, E.V.O. Second month, third day, 1879. Ninth, month, 12th day, 1882. Allison, Millie Viola. First month, fourth day, 1907. Deceased on the third day, 20. The ninth, third month, 24th, 1909. I'm now on the fifth row of Royal Allison Cemetery. This marker here was made by John Allison. This is on the sixth row. As you can see, there's an old rock here marking a spot. We do not know who's buried here, but this, these markers that in front of this rock was made by John Allison, my brother. Number two stone, made by John Allison. Number three stone, made by by John Allison. Number four stone, made by John Allison. Number five stone, made by John Allison. Number six stone, made by John Allison. These two rocks here represent an infant grave. This rock lies at the end of a grave. This rock lies as a foot marker of a grave. Other rock representing this grave with a foot marker just below it. There she is. Fifth row back represents the Estes. This is Mary E. Estes, born September the 23rd and died May the 3rd of 1869. This monument here represents Noah Estes, born February the 14th, 1812 and died July the 3rd of 1904. This represents Freedom Day of W.A. and Molly Estes, born April the 5th, 1905, and deceased October the 31st, 1917. And it says, she was the sunshine of our home at the very bottom of this monument. Foot marker of Molly Estes lies a circle of blocks representing an infant. Eighth row back represents nothing but a blocks, which is a complete row showing where people has been placed. Ninth row back is William H. Park Perkins, born January the 31st, 1881. Deceased January the, can't make out that middle number, 1900. 
power over there and I repaired this, mark, this broken stone. Willoughby. Willoughby Perkins died in eight, not 1888 and deceased in 1890. This is an infant son of our age and N.J. Perkins died at birth. Dale and I reconstructed the stone. A rock in between these two monuments says there is another body in this area. This is the infant son of R.H. and M.J. Parkins died at birth. Another rock lies in between these monuments. Francis Joner, J-O-T-H-E-R, February 1874, September the 25th, 1878. James A. Joyner, September 1854, died November the 20th, 1880. Father Henry R. Perkins, December the 24th, 1849, deceased April the 28th, 1914. The top of the Perkins Monument, it has a very small date written on the very top of it. It's a fairly large monument. All it has on it that is legible is at rest. I'm sure you're in this beautiful place of the woods. This is the tenth row. And this is in Mother Mary Connor. May the 28th, 1866. Died March the 26th of 1904. This is Lily M. Connor, born in June of 1886, died July the 10th of 1887. Mark rock in front of this marker. It's been placed here, it's buried deep in the ground. This is Edna E. Connor, born January the 20th, 1894. And it looks like she may have been deceased January of 1890, 1899, I'm sorry. Cemetery was built, the entrance, this would have been the very first part of it. However, Aunt Mary and I first turned on the rest of the old fence, just past the Alice Monuments up there. These are at the first entrance of the cemetery. They represent someone wise here. This rock is to the right of the other rock, at the front. This big old tree right here that you are looking at was the first tree to be left standing when this cemetery was formed. And this is what my Aunt Mary told me. This was guarded by two oak trees at the front, two very large oak trees at the back. I remember the very large oak tree in the back. I remember when it got struck by lightning and fell down over the top of the monument and broke it. This is one of the old oak trees that was left standing in the cemetery after this cemetery had been established. The cemetery started out being the Allison Connor Cemetery. As you can see, the Estes comes in here. I believe they may have been related to the Allisons and the Foxes. Or maybe lived in the community of their land. This is only two of the trees left standing that I open and Aunt Mary came up here and planted. Second tree. We carried these all the way down here, looked our way into here, dug the holes, and planted these trees. As you can see, there's only two of them left. This is the end of my journey. The 2005. Let this angel stand here forever. And God bless those who have put it here. Thank you for helping me do all this today. This is the end of our journey today for 205. He's very patient. He's very good. Most of all, he's the love of my life. This is the Mount Sign Cemetery sign, which we have Brother John Austin Rosie and Leonard one of these days. This is a pine tree that's right in the middle of Mount Zion Cemetery. 
was played in 1954 by my brother Leonard Allison. The Morse family is all around it, which is her, his grandma and grandpa Morse, and several aunts and uncles. This is the Banks Monument, which they were related to the Randall family, the Morses. The Morse, the Sealy, the Morse. As to Morse Allison, born December the 29th, 1927, December the 10th, 1986. Aston Allison was a private in the U.S. Army, World War II, December the 29th, 1927, December the 10th, 1986. Leonard Earl Allison is my brother, born November the 9th, 1922. His wife, Rosie Marie Ernest, born January 7th, 1934. December, deceased February 3rd, 1995. This is Johnny and Allison, February 7th, 1930, deceased April 26th, 2005. The center section of the monument, which reads, they live with us in memory still, and we're for, we're, we're, and we're for evermore Allison. This is Annie Allison. I know she's waiting patiently to be next to John.